Good morning, everyone. Welcome to worship this Boxing Day Sunday. Welcome to all wherever you are watching today. As with our Christmas Eve service, today we are only online with the hope that in-person worship service will resume again in the not too distant future. Our emails, website, and social media will keep you informed on any changes. At this point in time, the Sunday, January 2nd worship service will only be offered online unless we notify you stating otherwise. We will keep you posted. When we are worshiping again in person, the recorded worship services will continue to be available online each week. I would like to thank all those who contributed to the worship service today, this last Sunday worship service for 2021. Happy New Year to everyone. Please join me for the call to worship. I will be your worship leader and please respond. Praise the Lord from the heavens and in the heights. Praise God, sun and moon. God's name alone is exalted. God is above the earth and heaven. Young and old together, all creatures great and small. Let us worship God's holy name now and evermore. Amen. Oh, come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of angels. pray together. God of our lives and the times in which we live, we come before you on this last Sunday of the year 
marveling that another year has passed. For some of us, time has slipped by and we wonder where another year went. For others, the pressures of the pandemic have been intense, the sorrows heavy, the conflicts challenging. Oh God, you have seen us through this peculiar year and we are grateful. We praise you for your love, for your comfort and joy, which are there whenever we need them. In this time of worship, receive our prayers and our praises as we honor your gifts of light and love, which shine upon us through Jesus Christ, this day and every day by your grace. God of our lives and the time in which we live, we know you are with us through thick and thin, in times of great joy and at moments of disappointment. We confess we sometimes feel let down when the joy of Christmas has passed. Renew our hope and energy for the year ahead. Through the steadfast grace of Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen. Hear the declaration of forgiveness. The mercy of God is from everlasting to everlasting. Hear and believe the good news of the gospel. In Jesus Christ, God's generous love reaches out to embrace us. We are forgiven and set free to begin again. Let us forgive one another just as God has forgiven us. May the peace of Christ be with us all. Amen. We're excited. We're celebrating the birth of who? Jesus. Jesus. Oh, who's this? It looks like that's Daisy. Hey! All right. Hey, hey guys. So, hey, I'm ready Daisy. to see the cake my class, correct? I'm ready to see the cake my class, correct? I'm ready to see the cake my class, correct? And I brought some stuff. Oh, wow. Look at the stuff I brought. Oh, wow. Get the diaper. Tell me the diaper shirt later. I uh, got wipes. Look at this. Got some sweepers. Wow. Now we got your class. So, I wanted to meet this new king that was in court. Oh, uh, Daisy, Daisy, my is... Daisy, I'm sorry, but you know what? We're celebrating the birth of Jesus, but he's not here physically because he was born over 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years ago? I have enough fingers to count that pot. Yeah. So then wait. So then where is he? Well, where is he? Can anybody answer that question? So we're going to go with Angus. Yeah. He's in heaven right now. He's in heaven, but that's right. But then, okay, where was he born? Okay, oh. In Bethlehem? He was born in Bethlehem. And where was he born? Okay, we'll go with Angus this time. Uh, yeah. In a... Farm. In a farm, or in a farm, on a farm. In a right. farm, that would have been really, really smelly. Yeah, Woo! it would have been. Why would it have been smelly? Anybody? Okay, we'll go with Ellie. Yeah. There's a lot of horses. Th there would be animals in it, right? There's a lot of blood in it. Animals and, 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 animals. and cats too, they yep. would say. So, yeah. okay, but she wasn't born in a hospital. Right. So that means. No epidural no. for Mary. No. Ouch. Yeah. So. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It, it's true. And um, the baby Jesus was born in a barn. And like you said, it was not the, the most beautiful place. It was actually a very humble place. And he was born there because he wanted to connect with everybody, both rich, but also the very, very poor, right? So that was really important for Jesus to do, to be the king of everyone, okay? The king of everyone. Yeah. So he, that way he understands everybody, That's right. right? Even the people who are like really, really poor, he can understand. Right. Because let's face it, a bar is not a place for a king. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think so, but he is the, the best kind of king because he loves all the people, whether they're rich or poor, they're they're old or young. 
He loves all of them and people from all different nations. So we can, we know that uh, we are loved. Well, that's yeah. wonderful. Yep, and it's a gift to each one of us. Does Jesus know you by name? Yep. Yeah, we, we trust that, that Jesus knows us so completely that he would even know our name. And for that, uh, Daisy, it's a different kind of king that you were expecting, but Daisy, you now know about the king that lives inside us. Even though he was born 2,000 years ago, he lives inside us and he saves us. Well, that's really exciting. It is. It is. And we thank God for it. Let's pray. Dear God. Dear God. We thank you for sending Jesus. We thank you for sending Jesus to be our Savior. To be our Savior. And to know, and to know that He loves everyone. That He loves everyone. And He lives in our heart. And He lives in our heart. We pray in Jesus' name. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our scripture reading today is taken from Colossians 3, 12 to 17. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another and, if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body. And be thankful that the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The tree of life, my soul. It is. 
Shall we pray? Dear Lord, may the words of my mouth, the meditation of all our hearts together, be pleasing and acceptable to you, O Lord, our Rock and our Redeemer. Amen. I just want to mention to all of you that in 1983, in the summer, Jackie and I were married, and one of the scriptures at the wedding was Colossians 3, verse 12 through 17. And I just want to read some verses and then skip down to the last verse of this section, Colossians 3, 17. Hear the word of God. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another. And if anyone has a complaint against another, Forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. And I love that part where it says, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. And we to allow that to happen, rather, we are to know Christ, to know him more, and allow the nature of Christ, who Christ is, how he operated, how he showed love, to rule in our hearts. And we find out about that in our narrative of Jesus' birth. And we'll talk about that today. And here is verse 17 of that section, as we're seeking to be Christ-like in our relationships and as we love one another. Verse 17, And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. People of God, the Christian faith is for us to be followers of Christ, called to have Christ's vision for the kingdom of God, and for that to be the forefront of our actions, of our word and our deed. How we do that becomes more clear with Jesus' entry into the world. I read an article by author Shane Claiborne about a pastor who tried something a little different in his Christmas services. Instead of the usual decor in the sanctuary, they brought in a bunch of manure and hay and scattered it, not only in the front of the sanctuary, but also under the pews. So the sanctuary would really smell like a stable where the birth of Jesus all began. Then, when people came into the church in their best Christmas attire, they immediately began to smell the barn odors. A donkey was also brought in. You can imagine. Folks looked awkwardly at each other. Some people looked offended. Some grinned and chuckled. Some even laughed. But for those who stayed in the sanctuary, it was a new experience for them. It was one of the most remarkable services they had ever experienced. They were reminded of the real meaning of Christmas. God entered the dirt, the manure, the dung of the world. Jesus was born in a dirty place and placed in a manger. Now, a manger is a place that the cattle eat out of. And he was there because... There was no room for Jesus in the end. God came into the world as someone without a home, a refugee, born to a teenage mom that couldn't even afford the usual expected offerings given in the temple at the birth of a new child. As Jesus was born, the Gospels narrate the terrible account of the massacre that occurred an unspeakable act of violence where King Herod slaughtered children throughout the land, hoping to kill Jesus, which the church remembers as a massacre of the holy innocents. The original Christmas was marked with more 
more marked with agony and grief than with the decorations that we experience in the glamour of the shopping malls and parades. From the baby Jesus' birth in the manger as a homeless baby until the brutal execution of Jesus on the Roman cross, Jesus reminds us that God is with us. Remember, that is what the word Emmanuel means. It means God with us. God is with us in the struggle to survive, in the middle of poverty, in the fight for freedom, in a world which is so full of violence. Jesus coming to earth is totally about a God who leaves the comfort of heaven to join the struggle here on earth. God is with us, Emmanuel. Jesus did not come to earth only to help immigrants and refugees, and he did that, but he went a step further. Jesus came as a refugee himself. Remember that Jesus being born is the most incredible act of God's divine solidarity the world has ever known. In other words, God is one with us in being one of us, to closely connect and to relate with us, to help us in our struggles, to bring healing and to save us. And not just for a select few, but for all who are weary and for those who are carrying heavy loads. Let us remember this Christmas that the Savior we celebrate was born into the dung of the world. As we prepare to receive the baby Jesus, Jesus does not want us to make our focus on nice decorations and buying gifts, but he's totally more interested in us getting dirty in the trenches. What Jesus cares about is how we care about the most vulnerable people on earth, the sick and the homeless. That is the work of the kingdom of God. That is the work of Jesus. Remember the carol, born thy people to deliver, born a child and yet a king, born to reign in us forever. Now thy gracious kingdom bring. The world we live in is so similar as the world Christ lived in, in that it has much violence and poverty. However, the good news is that a savior is born. He has come to preach good news to the poor and to make the rich uncomfortable. He has come to show the mighty, the vulnerability, the poverty of their earthly thrones, where the work that really makes a difference, the work that matters, is to lift up those who are poor, those who are suffering. As scriptures say from Isaiah 61 and Luke 4, Jesus has come to bind up the brokenhearted, and to proclaim freedom to the captives. He has come to remind us that God is with us. God knows us, that all people matter, regardless of how rich or poor or successful or unsuccessful they are. God helps us and works alongside of us for his kingdom today and for eternity. Thanks be to God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
tremble when no one of the earth rang out the angel chorus that heard the Savior's prayer. Oh, tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go, tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ. Please join me for the prayers of the people. Shall we pray? Lord God, creator of heaven and earth, we bring you our prayers with glad and grateful hearts in this season of hope and joy. For your image set within us all, calling us to love one another and to care for your creation. We give you thanks, Lord, for the gift of your son who redeems us and guides us to serve you in the world. We give you thanks for the energy and the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, who equips us to meet the challenges we face, we give you thanks. By your Spirit, empower us to show your love to those for whom we pray this day, for the church and those who lead in it, as they seek to refresh ministries after months of pandemic restrictions, for the world that you have asked us to care for amid the challenges the climate crisis creates for those who rule in the nations of the world, that they will attend to the needs of the most vulnerable and cries for justice in their lands. For those who serve as teachers, instructors, and mentors, and for students who face a world of constant change and challenge. For those who serve others as healers and caregivers, especially those feeling exhausted by the demands the pandemic has created on them and their workplaces. For those struggling with poverty, homelessness, and hunger, and the challenges to recover amidst steep economic pressures. For those who mourn the loss of someone dear, and those who feel alone or neglected. Lord, we pray for those imprisoned for defending truth and justice, and all who experience exclusion, powerlessness, and oppression. As this year of ongoing and unexpected challenges draws to a close, give us grateful hearts for what has been loving and life-giving. Give us peace about things that have been painful. And focus our attention on emergency emerging opportunities to grow closer to you and to each other. Keep us faithful in all we do. In the name of Jesus Christ, our friend and Savior, who taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Angels from the realms of glory, wing your flight o'er all the earth. Ye who sang creation's story, now proclaim Messiah's birth. 
Come and worship, come and worship, worship Christ the newborn King. Shepherds in the field abiding, watching o'er your flocks by night. God with us is now residing, yonder shines the infant light. Come and worship, come and worship, worship Christ the newborn King. Sages, leave your contemplations, brighter visions beam afar. Seek the great desire of nations, ye have seen his natal star. Come and worship, come and worship, worship Christ the newborn King. Saints before the altar bending, watching long in hope and fear. Suddenly the Lord descending, in his temple shall appear. Come and worship, come and worship, worship Christ the newborn King. Though an infant now we view him, ye shall fill his Father's throne. Gather all the nations to him, every knee shall bend, bow down. Come and worship, come and worship, worship Christ the newborn King. Dear people of God, lift up your hearts unto the Lord, receive his blessing, and go in peace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the fellowship, the communion, the guidance, the love of the Holy Spirit, be and abide with you always this day, tomorrow, the day after that, into the new year, and forevermore. Amen. Now in Thank <laughs> you.